Hey everyone, welcome back to Appify Your Business. This video is going to cover calculating total hours or days or minutes, the difference between two date and time inputs. So here I have a very simple sheet set up with date and time one, date and time two, and I created an app that connects to this table. One thing that's important to remember when dealing with time in general with AppSheet is if you simply calculate the difference between two date time fields or date fields, AppSheet's going to come up with a duration. So I'm just going to use this formula editor to show the different results. If you simply do a difference between two date and time or date fields, what you're going to get when we open up and test that formula is the difference in the form of a duration entry where you have a colon separated values with hours, minutes, and seconds. Now this format's not immediately useful for a lot of applications and displaying to the end users. So there's additional functions here that you can consider when you're trying to figure, you know, the format you want to display to the users itself. So if, for example, I want to display the total hours for a duration, I can simply use this formula called total hours, then AppSheet's going to calculate a decimal value for the total hours between the two times. So you can then use this for other calculations because it's now in a decimal format. If you just want to extract the actual hour from the duration, you can use the hour function, and then that will return an integer value for that duration function. Likewise, you can do the same for minute, and it'll do the same concept and second, or total minutes and total seconds. So let's say you wanted to calculate the difference in days between uh, two date and time series. It's not immediately obvious because there's no function called total days, but you would simply use total hours to calculate the hours in decimal form and then convert that to days by dividing it by 24. And then you could you know, take this game, same concept by calculating weeks, months, years, and you know, decades if you wanted to. So you can see what that looks like. So super simple concept, but just wanted to highlight that difference. You can't just simply use a difference between two fields and, and get a decimal value. You need to use an additional function here to get what you want. With that, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and have a good one.